Princess Kate is wearing a gorgeous royal blue coat by Alexander McQueen as she joins members of the royal family at church on Christmas morning, which she accessorized with customized Jan Vito Rossi, Glen 85 feet boots and earrings once worn by Princess Diana. Walking alongside husband Prince William and their three children, Prince George, 10, Princess Charlotte, 8, and Prince Louis, 5, Kate looked relaxed and full of festive cheer. Her children were also joined by another royal, M.I.A. Tyndall, who was sweetly holding hands with Louis as they made the short journey from the house to the church. M.I.A. is the eldest daughter of Zara Tyndall, Prince William's cousin, and Mike Tyndall, who no doubt brought the rest of their brood, Lena and Lucas, along for the festivities. The royal family is out in force this morning as they attend a morning service at St. Mary Magdalene before heading back to Sandringham House for a festive spread. Stay up to date with the latest royal news. Join us on WhatsApp. Our community members are treated to special offers, promotions, and adverts from us and our partners. You can check out at any time. More info become an Express Premium member. Support fearless journalism. Read the Daily Express online. Advert free get super fast page loading start 30 day free trial other royals were spotted on the walk in an array of colors, including Princess Anne in sparkling white and Queen Camilla, who was wearing a more neutral shade of beige. It was a welcome return to Sandringham for the Princess Royal, who had been forced to skip the Christmas service last year as she was recovering from a cold. As the Christmas gathering at the Norfolk estate is a private event all family members are generally invited, whether they be working or non-working royals. This year Sarah Ferguson accompanied the firm to St. Mary Magdalene, the first time she has done so in over 30 years since her separation from Prince Andrew. After the marriage between the Duke and Duchess of York broke down Fergie was shunned for several years from royal get-togethers, even at Christmas or when her daughters Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie were in attendance. However, it seems that under King Charles she has been forgiven, as earlier this year she was also granted a front-row seat at his coronation concert at Windsor Castle. Fergie's ex-husband Prince Andrew, whom she still lives with at Royal Lodge, was also seen joining the firm for their Christmas church service. Andrew was forced to step down as a working royal following his Newsnight interview with Emily Maitlis in 2019, during which he attempted to defend his friendship with Jeffrey Epstein. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle also made the choice to step back from royal life in 2020, however it seems they have once again chosen to give Christmas at Sandringham a miss.